Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to welcome you all on this grammatical journey. As mentioned earlier, we're starting from scratch and the very first topic we will be looking at is parts of speech. But before diving right into the details, let us first try and understand what the title parts of speech suggests. So the easiest possible way to explain this would be parts of speech are simply parts of speech. Yeah, thank me later for this amazing explanation. Well, I'm just kidding. If you look at the title parts of speech, the word speech simply means expressing thoughts or feelings. When a group of words come together, a sentence is formed. And when a sentence is conveyed, it becomes a speech. And it's obvious that when we are expressing ourselves, we make usage of words, right? So let's understand this with the help of an example. Say for example, we have the sentence, the official languages of India are Hindi and English. If you carefully look at the sentence, the word India represents name of a country. The words Hindi and English represent names of languages. Whereas official tells us more about India. I want to emphasize here on a thing that every word plays a significant role and has its own use in a sentence. And these are nothing but parts of speech. Now let us take a look at the proper definition of parts of speech. Words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech according to their use, that is, according to the work they do in a sentence. Commonly listed English parts of speech are noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Now let me quickly introduce you to all of these. To begin with, we have nouns. Nouns are simply naming words. Some examples of nouns are India, Harry Potter, Trophy, Monkey, followed by adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. For example, silly, beautiful, great, proud, brave. Next in the line are pronouns. Pronouns are the words used instead of nouns. For example, he, she, it, they, them, their, etc. Lights, camera and verb. Yes, because verbs are action words. Some examples of verbs are fly, laugh, swim, jump. Knock, knock, who's there? Adverbs. Adverbs who? Words that add some meaning to a verb. For example, sometimes, almost, secretly, quietly. Next on the list are prepositions. Prepositions are the words used before nouns, pronouns or phrases. Some examples of prepositions are in, at, of, up, down, before, after, between, beneath, etc. In addition, we have conjunctions. Conjunctions are joining words. Some examples of conjunctions are and, but, because, though, although, since, etc. Furthermore, we have interjections. Interjections are the words that convey sudden emotions. For example, alas, ew, bravo, hooray. Well, this was just a short introduction to parts of speech. In the next video, we will look at definitions, some more examples and how to use these in a sentence. Stay tuned.